for joining us today um, as we embark on this old home renovation bonanza. We're just going to call it that. If you're not a usual viewer of our channel, uh, we're based in Asheville, North Carolina, and we own a 1927 brick duplex that was combined at some point before we purchased it. Um, and we run a little urban homestead micro farm um, from this location um, with our three city lots. That being said, we've tackled a lot of infrastructure improvements. Some of them we still need to make videos about. I know folks have a lot of interest in the solar panels and how we went through and did all of that work on an older home. Um, but we've done a lot of like HVAC, windows, foundation work, number of things over the seven years that we've lived here. And we have saved up so that we could afford a very nice kitchen renovation that was desperately needed from the tiny, tiny kitchens. And as you can see, the workers behind me are finishing up. Um, this is our first week and it's Friday and uh, yeah. So uh, in the show notes, you can find the times. If you don't want to see all the footage each week, you can just go ahead and get our tips at the very end. Um, where we will go over what we learned that week and that way you don't have to fall into the same problem that we did if you do an older home renovation. Uh, we will be showing you the gross nitty gritty parts of this and I think that's important because too often on the internet you see an old home and then you see a beautiful renovation and it looks like it happened like magic and especially if you're going to live in the home while you renovate it, this is key. Um, so let's get started with the numbers and like i said if you want to just skip to the tips of the end go look down in the show notes all right um, i need to frame this story first we as i said have been setting up for seven years for this kitchen renovation um, which is fine and we had signed with our general contractors and we were expecting to start sometime in july um, and so this kitchen renovation actually started in june and we had a 1.5 days to pack. I literally was out trimming the orchard and Adam walks around the corner. And he's like, I don't know how to tell you this, but they can start on Monday. Um, so we dropped everything and packed everything up because they had an opening and we could move this entire process up a month, um, which we really want to do as much of it over the summer when the kids aren't in school to try and not disrupt this, you know, their type of lives. Uh, so that being said, uh, we knew we were going to do a kitchen renovation and we knew it was going to take away our half bath and laundry for the duration. So no kitchen, no half bath, no laundry. That's not great when you have six people and the kids get kind of stinky and play outside and we garden, but you know, there's laundry mats. My mom's willing to let us do a load here and there. Uh, we weren't super worried about it. Now that it is Friday on week one, Monday through Friday, we are doing all the bathrooms in the house so the two full baths and the half bath and the kitchen and the laundry we'll go into the reasons as we look at the footage but suffice to say there was plumbing nightmares and we are going to do all of it so that means that we have six people we are blended but the kids are here a lot um six folks using a porta potty and a shower an outdoor shower let's be clear so if you want to see the wild ride and learn everything that we did when doing an almost 100 year old home kitchen renovation and bathrooms, um, then, you know, subscribe for this series and we will be seeing you each Monday with what we did the previous week. And with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Thanks for joining. Here we are in the chaos where they're ripping it all apart. And, uh, uh, I can't even. And then we can look above us. <laughs> and those are the bathrooms. I can't even. Some days. Um, yep. And then above that's the attic. But uh, yeah, so they've got it all demoed. And after lunch, it's literally just the clean out. As I walk through the shambles of my previous kitchen and face the idea of outdoor showers and a porta potty for a couple months. All right, so it's day three, and on the bottom floor, it doesn't look much different 
um, because they focused on taking out both bathrooms. So on day three, yep, it's day three. We now have uh, no bathrooms at all. So that's a thing. And um, yeah, I'll do some footage of the bathrooms very quick, but it was a bold choice where we have no bathrooms until it's all done. And it was your fault. It was not my fault. It absolutely was. You said on day zero, the day before we got started, at least we're not doing the two bathrooms at the same time. If we did something like that, we would have to get an Airbnb. That's and exactly did we get an Airbnb? Said. No, we're using a porta potty and showering underneath the deck. Hopefully. Yeah, we gotta get those. Whenever that tonight. shower gets here. It's tomorrow, right? Or is it tonight? Should be tonight, but I'm not doing it tonight. No. Okay. Well. So. We're good for be... tonight. We showered earlier, so we're good for tonight. Yeah. You know, and we have fifth grade graduation tomorrow. Oh God, I forgot uh, about yeah, that. Yeah. So yep. we're gonna we're gonna look real good for that. We're gonna be just fine. That's what dry shampoo is for. And and then if we don't have it tomorrow, we'll go to my mom's. Baby wipes. That's that's the solution. Whole body. Baby wipe down. We're going to smell powdery fresh. So I want to just recap, if you're doing an old home renovation, um, then this is the lessons we learned on our first week of this. We've done a lot of them, smaller projects. We weren't completely unaware of what it would be like, but I feel like we were grossly unprepared for <laughs> this particular one, which is why I'm tired looking and all those type of things. Um, number one, cost. Um, our budget is already blown out of the water because what we found when we took the walls down is that the plumbing is not up to code in the floor above. And therefore there was a lot of questions on whether we could even tie into the plumbing that was going to be moved to code. Um, we do have an option in our area to call an inspector for a consultation and see if they feel like the plumbing would be grandfathered in or not. Um, so that is an option in some areas. I know in the county next to us, there's a huge wait time for that. Um, for our particular county, it's not as bad. Um, so if you have questions, remember, that's always an option. You have the ability to get a consultation from the inspectors to know. Um, we opted not to go that route because once we started looking at things, we also found that there were leaks in the shower that had been done. Um, in one side, the flange for the toilet wasn't even hooked to the floor. I don't know. Nobody can figure out how we didn't have massive like sewer flooding from the upstairs luck. We don't know. So it was bad enough um, that we agreed to do it, which leads to the other thing that we learned about cost. We already have a construction crew on site. We've got this dumpster back here. We have the porta potty. We have the subcontractors. It is more cost effective to just bite the bullet and do it now if you have the money in your budget. We've got enough wiggle room because we've done a lot of renovations and we've saved up for this one kitchen remodel for seven years that we could go ahead and tackle the two smaller bathrooms that are attached to this. Um, so I would say, you know, if you're going to do a major renovation, number one, on an older home, it's always unexpected. There's literally no project we've ever done that goes neatly and efficiently because something's crazy with an old home people this is almost 100 years old people have tacked things on they've done things it's going to happen if you have an older home you are going to have issues sometimes people find lead luckily we have tested lead free Woo! um that has to be remediated i mean there's all kinds of things that go wrong in older homes um so always have extra money i don't know that you need to have two bathrooms worth of extra money laying around um not that we actually had two bathrooms worth of extra money laying around but here we find ourselves so um yes cost with an older home remodel always important to factor in always have extra we knew this from our other projects we did not realize this our first couple projects but we knew this time around so that has already that's already held true on week one when we now have two additional bathrooms added to the renovation. Um, the second one is lesson learned is 
it's better to not cut corners. Part of the reason we're having to have two bathrooms replaced is we used a contractor that cut corners and things weren't up to code, they weren't inspected. Um, and I can only assume that is what happened with the other bathroom too, where they didn't even have a toilet flange hooked to the floor. Like there's no way that passed. We can't find any permits that were pulled. Um, so it's hard when you don't have a lot of money, but it's better to scope down your project and have it done right. Um, we found that redoing the electric, shoring up foundations, putting in new windows, all those type of things that have not been as fun or as useful, we made sure they were all done right and we did them over time as opposed to trying and doing large renovations like we're doing with this one until we had the money um, so they could be done correctly. Um, let's see, then the other thing I would say on our first week that is a big life lesson is construction dust. That sounds really stupid. We knew the construction creates dust. We've done it. We've done windows, we've done, you know, HVAC, we've done electric, like we've done almost everything to this house. When this part is done, we'll have done pretty much everything other than the walls in the living rooms and bedrooms. So we knew dust is a thing, but if you're doing a major demolition, especially of tile and plaster, I cannot tell you the amount of dust. We were not prepared. Um, the construction crew here had sealed off the openings um, and done that, and it still is everywhere. And especially when we had to take walls down in a hallway where we couldn't seal it. So last night, we spent a lot of time cleaning up the dust that was already there because we don't want to breathe it because we don't want to breathe it. We wear a mask, the whole nine yards, clean it up. And then today, knowing that we had two more walls that had to come down, we sealed everything. And even then in this office with my door closed, I am getting fine particles of dust everywhere. <laughs> so it's exacerbated with the fact that there's Canadian forest fires that now have managed to make it all the way to North Carolina with the smoke. So air quality around here is just absolute hell um, regardless but the construction dust. You cannot prepare enough. You cannot block enough things off. You cannot tape and plastic enough things. That is definitely one of our lessons learned. So, so we're also um, sharing an office due to the dust that I was just talking about and you can't see him behind me because he hates to be on video. But Adam, you got any other life lessons? I said, if you're doing an old home renovation, the cost of everything, not cutting corners, because we're having to remediate those mistakes and then being unprepared for the level of dust once you start knocking out walls. The dust was the big thing. Um, you know, make sure that you know what the code is in your area. Yep. So that you can avoid future costly mistakes. Exactly. So anyway, thanks for joining and we'll be back week two. And in case anyone ever wondered if this is a good idea, I forgot to show you the coolest new feature of this renovation experience. So come with me and I shall show you the awesomeness. Welcome to my new shower. Oh yeah. Yep. Can't make that up. That's my new shower. It does have hot and cold water though. So I'm not sad about that. It's just running from the basement. <laughs> um, and when this is said and done, this is actually where we're going to put a little roof over and stack our firewood. Um, but for right now, that's my shower. And I'll take you on one more adventure um, because, uh, as you know, we're a blended family, but um, most of the time there's six of us. And so I just needed to show you this other really awesome feature that we have during this renovation. So come with me. That's our toilet for six of us and the construction crew. Yep, yep, that's it folks. You're, you're looking at my brand new toilet for the foreseeable future, uh, at least a month or two, so if not more. All right, so you know, six people and an outdoor shower and a porta potty plus the construction crew, fun times. <laughs>